Hello, Mount Pleasant Kingdom parents and volunteers, as well as children and you. It's Reverend V. I hope that this message finds you well. I wanted to come on and take a moment just to say happy Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness. Who would have thought that this would be the year that you'd be like, oh my God, what happened? This year definitely leaves us in a place of many, many questions. But this year also leaves us with a message that I would call the possibilities of the impossible. We have seen lots and lots of people who have unfortunately lost their lives to this virus. And perhaps you have lost a family member or two. But God wanted me to encourage you and tell you that this year is not over. Even on today, receiving a message today that someone else had lost a family member to COVID. And what do you say? Well, what we've got to say in the midst of tragedy and what we have to say in the midst of the heartache and the heartbreak, we still got to move our lips to say thank you, God. We thank God for life and we thank God for the life of those family members that lived up until the time that God decided to call them home. This Thanksgiving, I want you to be reminded to find a way to say thank you. God is looking for us to say thank you in the midst of a pandemic. He's looking up for us to say thank you in the midst of things not working out. He is looking for us to say thank you when everything in your life has been disrupted because God is still on the throne. That's what There is one thing that we can all be thankful for because even as you are watching this, you are breathing. That is something to be thankful for. And so we were so most thankful for what God is doing in this season. And I am so happy to, to announce to you that our children and youth have been thriving. Those that I have been able to see on our Sunday services, our Wednesday and our Thursday services, we are more excited than we've ever been, even with having to meet online. So be encouraged that during this holiday season, find something to thank God for. Chance, I have found me a new uh, album, I guess you could say. I finally sat down and watched David E. Talbert's movie, Jingle Jangle, right? And so I want you guys to sit down, watch that movie with your family, because one of the greatest messages in that movie is that we tend to give up, but our children are looking to us and our youth are looking to us not to give up. Why? Because you are what is possible to them. You are the possible portion of their dreams and their aspirations. So don't give up during this season. Find that hope deep down in you. And remember, we are all still evolving right now. The possibilities, because the square root of impossible is possible in me. It's possible in you. So as we are still evolving in what Christ has called us to be and who he has called us to be in this time, we've got to keep evolving. Don't sit down on your couch and say, I'm giving up or I'm letting go of this. Let's move through this time together. It is possible because the square root of the impossible is you. And we know that all things are possible through Christ that gives us strength.